this is a little setup that I borrowed from um, the physics department at the University of Kent to demonstrate standing waves on a string. You could think of it in terms of a guitar string if you wanted, or violin, or whatever. But it's a demonstration of the fact that we can have uh, progressive waves moving along a medium that actually have the appearance of standing stationary in space if we get, uh, in addition to that, blah, 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 blah. This is a very simple piece of equipment that I borrowed from the physics department at the University of Kent, uh, designed to show standing waves in operation on a string. You could think of this as a guitar string if you wanted, or indeed any stringed instrument. The operation of the device is very simple. There's an eccentric cam at this end, which is what introduces a little bit of vibration into our string. The wave travels along the string, and hits this pulley wheel where it will be reflected back down again. So if we add in to our vibration the uh, effect of this reflection and the superposition of the two waves, so the initial wave going that way, the reflected wave going that way, uh, we'll get the sum total of those visible on this string. So this is a demonstration to accompany the um, sound sessions that I ran for Canterbury's branch of the University of the Third Age, so the U3A. Uh, and I didn't have time to show this, so um, I'm producing a YouTube video to try and demonstrate the principle now out in my back garden. Uh, so let's start the thing going and we'll see what we get. So if I turn this eccentric cam motor on, you'll see we get a bit of a vibration going on there. In fact, just at random, we appear to have got standing waves going on. So let me take the tension in this string up again. Think about tuning a guitar. And you can see that if I get the tension just right, I have what appears to be a stationary waveform uh, on my string. So that's fine as far as it goes. Uh, this is in fact called the fundamental frequency of the string. But if I reduce the tension here just by lowering the arm down at the end, I can, there we are, if I'm steady enough, I can get the first overtone. So we're now looking at harmonics on our string, and this is the thing that actually gives each stringed instrument in fact, any instrument that um, displays standing wave behaviour, its particular sound, its particular tone, it's why a violin sounds very different uh, to a guitar, sounds different again to a piano or indeed a flute. If I reduce the tension again, I should be able to get the, um, here we are, the next overtone. And you can see that all that's happening here is that I'm starting a wave motion over here at this eccentric cam. It's moving along the string and being reflected back again from the pulley wheel. And the two waveforms are overlapping, they're superposing, and all we see is the resultant of those two motions. And you can see there are points along here where the string isn't moving very much at all, apparently. These are the nodes of our vibration and then in the middle where we have the maximum amplitude of oscillation in our standing wave those are the antinodes. Now I doubt very much I can get one more overtone but I'll give it a try. No. Oh there we are look. Just for the glimpse of. There the next one in the sequence. So now you'll notice we've got node, node, node and one, two, three, four antinode. So this is the next in the sequence. So if you um, pluck a guitar string or put your bow across the string on the violin, for instance, uh, you're exciting not just the fundamental frequency, which is the note that you're playing, but actually the conditions for standing waves um, 
are met for all of these overtones as well. So they mix in with the fundamental frequency of your string and create uh, the, uh, the sound that you actually hear from your instrument. So there we are, standing waves in operation. Uh, and we've got all the way uh, from uh, all these overtones through back to our fundamental frequency, the notes that we're actually hearing on our instrument. So there, the whole system.